Okay, so in this video we're looking at trigonometry, we're just getting started on trigonometry. Um, we look, by the end of the lesson you should be able to name the sides of the triangle, so you should be able to label the sides of the triangle correctly uh, in order to solve a problem. Uh, let's take a look first. Now, trigonometry, remember, trigonometry, at least in our case, is right angle triangles only. Okay, so we're only going to be dealing with right angle triangles. Now, remember, a right angle triangle looks like this. Okay, it could also look like this. There's three, um, three examples of a right angle triangle. Now there's three sides to a right angle triangle. There's a hypotenuse first of all, uh, then we're going to look at opposite and adjacent as well. Finding the hypotenuse is always the easiest and that never changes. Uh, the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is the longest side and is also the one that's opposite the right angle. Okay, so the procedure for finding it is really, really simple. Start at the right angle and then draw a little arrow to the opposite side. That side is called the hypotenuse. Okay, so there's our hypotenuse. Same procedure here. Look at your right angle, draw a little arrow across, and that's going to be our Hypotenuse. Okay, and finally, this one. Start here, draw an arrow across, and there is your hypotenuse. Okay, so now we just need to label the other two sides. One's going to be the opposite, and one's going to be the adjacent. Before we can do that though, we need to come up with what's called our angle of interest. Now our angle of interest in the triangles themselves is going to be represented by this Greek letter. Okay, that's called theta. T-H-E-T-A. You don't need to know that, you just need to know that you use that for an angle of interest, theta. Okay, I'm just going to draw an angle of interest in there, I'm going to draw an angle of interest in there, and I'm going to draw an angle of interest, uh, let's say, I'll draw it in here. Okay, without the angle of interest, you can't know which one's the opposite, which one's the adjacent. Okay, now, easiest way to do this, find the adjacent side next. So the adjacent, the word adjacent means next to. Adjacent means next to. Okay, so next to. Adjacent means next to the angle of interest. Here's our angle of interest. The side that is next to the angle of interest is this one. So that's our adjacent. You'll notice there's actually two sides next to the angle of interest, but one of them we've already labelled as the hypotenuse. So it's the other side, the one that isn't the hypotenuse, that's the adjacent. Okay, here, angle of interest, look for the side that's adjacent to it, that's next to it. There's a side here that's next to it, that's the hypotenuse, so it must be the other one that's next to it, adjacent. And finally, Here's our angle of interest. Look for the side that's next to it. There's the hypotenuse. So the one next to it must be this one. Adjacent. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. The last one, the last side that we need to label is our opposite. It's called opposite because it's opposite theta. It's across from theta. Here's theta, that's the hypotenuse, that's the adjacent. The one that's opposite theta, that's going to be opposite. Okay. Opposite. The one that's opposite theta, 
There we go. And the one that's opposite theta, there's theta, opposite theta. Okay, that's labelling the triangle. Just quickly before we go, let's have a crack at one more. Here's a round angle triangle. Here's our angle of interest. Hypotenuse, adjacent and opposite. Where do you think they'd go? Well, hypotenuse is easy. Find the right angle. Straight over here. Here's our hypotenuse. Now, adjacent is easy. Here's our angle of interest. Adjacent is the one next to it. And finally, opposite, it's this one here, it's opposite the angle of interest, opposite. Now to save time here guys, you really don't need to label hypotenuse adjacent opposite. You can just label them as A, O, and H. It's just going to save you a lot of time when you're doing the maths. But it is important that you label them, otherwise you're going to get mixed up in the middle of the question.